chill air hits me as soon as I open the door of Ezra's shop and step outside. It hisses in my ears, piercing through layers like it wants to chase me back indoors. I could think of no alternative more exciting, but my work is done here and I must move on. Not a moment less well-timed, it seems, as I close the door and immediately notice a familiar face skulking about just out of my vision until now. Only person- yep. I was about to say, only person we haven't seen yet this chapter. Omen startles, badly, when he realizes that I've spotted him. He takes a full step back, away from me, one hand half-raised, tail lashing like a snake, and there's genuine fear on his face. Bud, why? Omen. Speak of it. <laughs> uh. The first thought to cross my mind is that he is suspiciously distraught. The second is that it pains me to see him that way. Maybe a distraction is in order. I try to catch Omen's eye and wink at him. Speak of the devil. I was wondering where you were. Did I imagine did I imagine it that he stiffens at the words? It's hard to tell how with how stiff he already is. It lasts for only a second, however, before his face turns red. Maybe redder than just a blush. Maybe. Something flickers in Omen's eyes, like Ember is about to burst into life, but he looks sideways too quickly for me to make sure. His aura churns, shifts, but does not change. Oh, uh, um. Omen twists the strand of his hair around one finger and tugs at it, tail twitching most anxiously, adorably. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, no. I wasn't upset. Just surprised is all. He glances at me again, very briefly, brown eyes half-hidden beneath long lashes. Omen swallows and that blush intensifies. But he's smiling, much to my delight. Tremulously, uncertainly. But he is smiling. After a moment, he even deigns to meet my eyes. Clearing his throat, Omen folds his arms together and seems to make a conscious effort to relax. Uh, thank you for worrying about me. I promise I stayed out of trouble king of staying in out of trouble. I believe you. Omen blinks, then smiles wider, shoulders sinking in palpable relief. Okay, that's good to know. He looks at me intently, head tilted to one side. What about you? I heard that there was some kind of trouble? I'm unhurt. Omen's eyes flicker to Ezra's door, expression dubious. I wasn't seeing him because I was hurt, don't worry. Oh. Okay. A moment of slightly awkward silence passes before he continues. I'm looking for someone. That little twin boy? I know where he is. Omen says this very quietly, like it's a secret confessed. He scans my face with eyes flickering more red than brown, pensive. I wait, since there is little else I can say. Then something seems to resolve. Omen looks for me to Ezra's door, then takes a step back, his mouth tight. Oh. She's probably not in Zelzen. I should get going. It's... It's nice seeing you again. Well, there's only so many she's in this town, so I'm sure I can figure out who it is. He makes to turn away, and I don't know what moves me to act. Perhaps it's, perhaps it's his aura, the way I suddenly sense it swell under his glamour, spot the wisps of flame trailing from his hair and the tips of his ears. Perhaps he's walking away, and I simply cannot let him go right now. Perhaps I'm tired of one more fucking mystery in this town. Either way, I reach out and grab his wrist. Wait. And instantly regret it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oops, oops. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Heat scorches my hand, forcing me to withdraw with a small cry. Omen looks over his shoulder at me with glowing amber eyes, his lips drawn back in a half snarl. His still eerily human face is framed by a wreath of fire. Dude, I'm sorry, dude. My guts clench, twist, twist, drop under the sudden glints of an immense, blistering presence that sprung out of nowhere. My instincts scream at me in warning. It's okay, bud. It's just Omen. Demon. Then Omen jerks back, as though out of a trance. And everything extinguishes. Sorry, bud. Sorry. I do not know how long we stand there outside of Ezra's shop with the space of a sword swing between us. Omen's arms are limp by his sides, him making no move to defend himself. All he does is stare at me, stare at me with huge eyes and palpable horror. I'm sorry, bud! I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, bud! I force my mouth open to tell him it's alright. I have had worse, really, but I can only pry my jaw apart. 
The words I can't force through. No, come back. He's not waiting to hear them. He's stepping away. One, then two, then three. And he turns around and flees. Come back. I can't move my legs to follow. By the time I get enough control of myself back, Omen is already gone. In hindsight, I'm glad I couldn't follow him. It takes a tremendous effort for me to pry my stiff fingers from the comfort of my weapon. Oh. Oh, man. I don't need to threaten the baby. <laughs> I've been sitting in friends. my I've been sitting in my room at the wolf waiting for the sun to set, waiting for darkness to fall so I can carry out my next move. Oh, am I going to go hang out with some vampires? I can't click anything. Please, there we go. No messenger had come to summon me to headquarters and neither had August come to bang down my door. I gather that the identification of the deceased hunter is taking a little longer than expected. Oh, how you really you just didn't get, have to go into work because I know it was like listen, it's too hard. Do you think you still get paid? Or... I, I don't know. Do you think know. it's hourly here? Many times hourly. <laughs> many, dark, position? many dark things cross my mind, but I push them How away. How does fantasy capitalism work? It works by... Magic. I meant it when I said that I'm tired of being pushed from pillar to post, kept in the dark. Enough is enough. Yeah! You go tell them! If this town wants saving, then I shall do it on my own terms. Yeah! Come on, let's go! Let's go! We're going. We're here. The door to August's office is thankfully unlocked, and I'm pleased to discover that it's empty. Oh yeah, we snooping. We snooping. The we're desk snooping is in its usual snooping. disarray. Papers and books haphazardly strewn across its surface. Don't be suspicious. Don't be Don't suspicious. suspicious. Don't, Don't be suspicious. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> I take a deep breath and head straight for the filing cabinet I've seen August rummaging through so often and I carefully open the drawers and I read everything that's in there and I find August's diary. Apparently Piper has her own a whole portion dedicated to her hunt reports. An impressive feat. I'm imagining just like a very like modern filing cabinet like everything else is the same but it's just yeah, like, like a, a modern, regular gray, modern filing, regular filing, cabinet. filing cabinet. Yeah. After much rummaging I eventually find Aya's papers stuffed at the very back of the bottom drawer. If I didn't know what I was looking for, they'd have easily gone unnoticed. It certainly looks like August has tried to hide them, which only increases my suspicion. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to get interrupted before we can read all the file. I find her transfer papers, a glowing letter of recommendation from her previous enforcer. Her records are clean, no discrepancies, nothing but praise. I see the words kind and thoughtful repeated multiple times, and the only complaint, if you can call it that, that her enforcer had is that she was overly cautious. Then. I find it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Her discharge papers, an obnoxious red treason stamped across the front page. Oh god, oh no. In the blink of an eye, the whole office lights up and the door loudly slams against the wall. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, <laughs> oh we're wow. We're in trouble, but is it really a problem though? We're in trouble, but like, what damn. kind of trouble? <laughs> what kind of trouble? <laughs> I'm sorry, General. I've been bad. <laughs> I've been very bad. <laughs> we read this line. <laughs> I forgot it was me. <laughs> what are you doing? He doesn't even. They don't even look mad. They're like, uh oh. They look kind of you betrayed. Know. They look a little bit, oh no, I didn't mean to betray you. I watch magic coat every surface, flowing and curling over the walls, floor, furniture. It even creeps over their clothing, and I imagine their skin, too. This is not the time for imagining people's skin! They stare at me wide-eyed, vivid violets swallowing the once ice blue of their irises. And though I should be concerned that I've been caught, I'm distracted. <laughs> You're literally like, oh, no, they're too pretty. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh no, they're hot! <laughs> August. I want to be mad, unless there's a flirt option, but I want to be like, <laughs> how dare you lie to me? The magic that glimmers upon their clothing disappears, and their eyes lose that otherworldly glow, but the room remains alight. Bro, dude, friend. They look at the bundles of papers that I hold tightly in my hand, a frown furrowing their brow. Ooh, we're in trouble. Ooh, we're gonna get fired. I would ask that you put those back, Hunter Robin. And I would ask that everybody stop lying to me. Their words are eerily calm, and they seem more concerned than annoyed. What happened to her? They close the door, clicking the lock and checking the handle before they walk towards me. Bro, as poised and perfect as ever, they stare me down. You know, not even Piper found those. I hate to admit that I'm impressed. They were in the filing cabinet. I don't think Piper what if looked. August is the murderer. I don't think Piper can read. I'm kidding. I, <laughs> if I'm August kidding, is the murderer, then we're gonna die right now. 
<laughs> Game over. You know, not, not even Piper found those. Oh, that's your line, sorry. You already read it too. August. They unfurl their fingers in a silencing gesture, and I pause. August is still my superior officer, and I am nothing if not respectful. I hate that. You haven't been respectful this whole game. Why are you starting now? I know, I've been literally, like, flirting in this office, like... I did not wish for Piper to be demoted, nor did I wish for you to meet the same fate. But I appear to be having a case of deja vu. Well, I guess I'm either getting fired or demoted, because I want to know. But... You know, sometimes the hand that feeds is a forceful one. Oh, what does that mean? I'm perplexed. I expected a much harsher conversation. August isn't exactly known for their calm temperament, and this is startlingly, startlingly out of character. Aren't you going to admonish me? A sly smile, and they shake their head. Ooh. No, Sarah. I am not. Ooh. I believe in you, strangely. Ooh. I believe that you are a bright light at the end of a very, very dark tunnel for this town. Ooh. And I have been questioning things lately. Yes, yes, August. Oh, we need to, we need to like defect together. We're gonna, we're gonna tear this place apart from the inside out. We're gonna destroy the police force, the fantasy police force. Fantasy Let's A-cab. do it. You and me, fantasy A cab for cab. I'm here for you. Let's do this, together! Tearing it apart! Tearing it apart! The look that crosses their face breaks my heart. It's one of shame, of sorrow. Come on, bud. I long to comfort them, but these papers weigh heavy in my hands. Yeah, we gotta get some stuff out of the way first, and then I'm gonna come over there and hug you, maybe. Hold your hand? I don't know, we'll see. August, please, I can't take any more dishonesty. Yeah, it's starting to piss me off. I'm here to- ah! Always! Always! It's like timed with the like- with the like emotionally charged yeah. scene. If it's dramatic, we're gonna get interrupted. I'm here to help. I want nothing more than for all of this pain to stop. They drop their gaze, apparently unable to look at me. Come on, bud. I'm here for you. Their cheeks flush pink, mouth set in a thin, nervous line. I do not deserve it. I got myself into this mess by- Why? How? Why? They catch themselves. I do not deserve it. Deser Come on, bud. Come on, bud. I cross the room, the papers discarded, and I stand face to face with them. Help me, August. I tentatively reach for their hand, and they take it without question! We got that handhold, it baby, finally! How many chapters to get a handhold? A lot! I tentatively reach for their hand, and they take it without question, lacing their long fingers with my own- Ooh, it's an intertwined handhold! That's- that's like advanced handholding! We skipped a grade! Skipped a grade? Oh, it lit up in here! The markings brighten, throwing in time with what I assume is August's hammering pulse. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. People are terrified, and I think you are too. What did this girl do to deserve to be forgotten? If I told you that I do not know, would you believe me? At this point, yeah, probably. I run my thumb along the back of their gloved hand, still feeling their warmth through the fabric. I look deep into those eyes, eyes that seem to hold the universe. Okay. I would. This is... Ooh. Then you must be a fool. Uh-oh. I laugh quietly, reaching up to cup the curve of their jaw with my free hand, then lean into- they lean into- oh. They lean into my touch as if they've craved it for an eternity. Aww. Then a fool I shall be. The time spent with them at the festival granted me access to a very different August. One that I found myself becoming quite fond of. I relish in the warmth of their flush skin against my own, reveling in how beautiful they are. I'll always protect you, August. We can help each other here. Something in my gut tells me this really is all connected, and this does not comfort me. The very institution that I work for, that I've dedicated my life to. I move to pull out the sash and let it unfurl where I hold it before them, and August's eyes grow wide. I forgot it was me. <clears throat> Who does this belong to? Aya Walker. Their expression is unchanging. 
I see. It's bloodied. Yup. I nod, handing it to them. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> they do not remove their gloves as they carefully lay it across their palms, Neither studying it intently. <laughs> I know, I don't want to touch that shit. I want to know if, like, you've been touching it barehanded this whole time. Yeah, probably. Your hands are just, like, crusted and... Covered in someone else's blood. Heavily and torn to shreds. Whatever happened, she put up a fight. They frown, lips pursed. Something is clearly perplexing them. She was not reported to be injured upon her arrest, that much I do know. Something like that would not have been admitted. I throw them a sorry stare, wondering how they could still be so sure of such things. August is like those people who are like, but it's illegal to, and you're like, dude. <laughs> dude, I know. Yes, like, yes, it is illegal, but that does not mean people don't do it. <laughs> you're positive the blood is hers? That's what Ezra said. I wanted to tell them how I know, but I cannot implicate Ezra nor Alcar, not after they were both so clearly terrified. I'm sure, and I'm going to need you to trust me on that. Strangely, they don't question it. Instead, they sigh, delicately resting the sash upon their desk. She was yours, August. Don't you want to know what happened to her? I want to see her to visit the dungeon. They glance out of the window, and another, and another heavy snowfall coats the icy street outside. I think you need to take a seat. Oh boy, she's dead, ain't she? I have a few confessions. Oh god, you killed her, didn't you? That's the end of the chapter. And that being said, ah, save it. We will Tell see me. what happens in chapter four. Chapter four. Chapter Next eighty. Time. Chapter seventy million. We're just gonna keep going until nothing ever. Yep. What if it was like that? What if it was like a TV drama where just like shit just kept hitting the fan and we had to play it for like twenty straight hours in order to get to season three? I mean, it'd just be like that sometimes. Did you ever watch Pretty Little Liars? No. Good. It was bad. I didn't anyway, watch TV as a kid. I watched, like, the first couple seasons, and then I was like, really? Are we still going? And then I stopped watching. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you for watching. If you're watching this, don't. If you're watching this, don't. I'm, I'm ready to be mad at Ezra. Not Ezra, sorry. Yes. I'm ready to be mad at August. Ezra's fine. I... I'm Honestly, so glad we chose August's route. August's confession is probably gonna be like, I accidentally hit her in the elbow one time or some shit. Like, it's gonna be stupid. And I'm gonna be like all torn up about it for the next month, oh. probably, because that's how long it takes to film. <laughs> no, we can we can probably play this week and remember holiday. Yeah, I don't know when my mom's leaving, but. It's okay, just kick her out. Hi, mom. <laughs> hi, Sarah's mom. She's not here yet, but hi. Um, but yeah. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.